Thank you guys for coming so much. Of course, my name is Trish from Urban Farming with Trish. I am so excited to have you here, Dr. Debron, and her colleague as well. Hello, everyone. Yeah, hello, hello Trish. <laughs> yeah. I watched your videos on YouTube and we're also a part of a group. And I was just inspired by you. And I know some of my listeners are inspired by you as well. But in your own words, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, Verma Compost uh, Warm Farm and um, your experience with it? Yeah, hi, Trish. And first of all, I want to thank you for your invitation on your uh, platform. And uh, now, I, uh, Trish, as uh -huh. you know, that the compost thing as a way in which we use earthworms to turn the organic waste or the organic debris into, into beneficial warm casting, or you can say warm compost, because that uh, casting of earthworm we use as a compost in our farm. So, uh, Trish, I'm doing it uh, since uh, 2002. And uh, I started uh, just after my education, I have, uh, I have been in this field uh, because it is very beneficial for agriculture, uh, beneficial and organic waste management. And uh, that's why I have started with uh, the species Aishinia fetida, and it is a tremendous species that is introduced in warmi composting. And as you uh, regularly, we are, uh, uh, you know, we are converting our organic waste into warm castings, and that uh, casting is very helpful. That can be used as compost in our uh, farms, in our gardens, in our pots and kitchen garden we use and um, it is totally organic it is chemical free and it is good for health and soil also what inspired you doctor like what what was the beginning what inspired you to start uh, actually it is during my education i came to know with two terms one is organic waste management and the other one is organic farming I have seen in India uh, since 1965, uh, there is a grain revolution in which uh, we have uh, farmers were using chemicals and uh, uh, after two or three decades of using those chemical fertilizers, people are facing, uh, you know, uh, their health issues are there. People are facing cancer type diseases. So I have, uh, then I have seen that warmi composting is a best option for chemical fertilizer and it's a best uh, method to uh, reduce organic waste. Uh, uh, so that inspired me, that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that inspired me to uh, work in the field of organic farming and warmi composting. I think that's great. And for, you've been doing this for over 20 years. Do you plan on keeping it going? Yeah. It, it's very uh, good and I uh, use, I opted for the last 20 years and it's a tremendous job I am doing and I'm proud of my job because I'm uh, saving lives and uh, motivating lives to use organic. To people, I'm motivating people to use organic, uh, you know, organic fertilizer in place of chemicals and uh, the, uh, the quality of soil due to the use of chemical is deteriorating day by day. And this uh, chemical, that uh, this warmi compost is the best option for chemical fertilizer. It is, uh, it is very good for health also. It is good for soil also. It is good for our environment also. And that's why I'm uh, doing this. Job. And, uh, you know, uh, I will. In the, uh, you know, I, I am uh, doing this in the last 20 years, and in future, I'm also involved in this. Even I'm motivating people to involve in this warmi composting. Okay, so doctor, do you mind telling us where you're located or what region you're in? Because I'm in uh, Atlanta, Georgia in the United States, of course. And I was just curious where you were located. I'm located in India. It's a state, uh, it's a, uh, you know, India and uh, in the state of Uttarakhand. It's called Dev Bhumi. And we, uh, you know, uh, we have planned, uh, our state government has planned Uttarakhand to be an organic state. So I'm located in Uttarakhand in the state of India. Okay. Although you in India, I think I've seen something where you were offering um, classes or courses for, um, to, to teach everyone 
how to go about doing this? Uh, pardon, will you repeat your question? I was curious about your classes or your courses. Are they available for someone like us in the United States or is it just for uh, people uh, in India area? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, we uh, till now we have uh, uh, we have uh, last uh, you know twenty years. I'm doing uh, I'm providing online uh, offline training courses here. Off is so offline. Come, yeah, offline. But now, as you know, uh, demand from people from uh, you know uh, abroad. Also, I got messages that uh, will you able to teach us? Will you able to provide some information? So based on these, on the we are uh, soonly we are going to start our online courses and our online classes. So uh, people in US may join. You know, I think that would be great because I'm definitely interested. And, and learning and joining your course whenever it is available. I just started a small war bin. It's nothing much. It's definitely not on the scale that you have, but mm -hmm. I was just wanting to know more and I'm not able to find where I can learn more about it online. Like it doesn't tell you everything. Yeah, and online classes, I will tell you everything. You have started with a small bomb bin. You know, it's very good. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can recycle your kitchen waste, your uh, kitchen waste, and that a uh, small bombi. And if you want to do it in large scale, then you have to, uh, you know, uh, you have to extend your uh, feed. You can do by some uh, windrows method, open bed method. You have some part of land there, and uh, you you need cow dung or uh, you need uh, some organic waste as agriculture residue, leaf litter, you know, papers and uh, shredded cardboard you can you can use every type of uh, you know organic waste and that and uh, you can easily do it in large scale as well as in a small scale i want to turn to your colleague for a second i was just curious uh do you know when um as, as working with the doctor um do you know how soon it will be available online so uh so we are working hard on it. So maybe like it will be available uh, within like two months. Okay. Yeah. I was just asking because my audience is over a hundred thousand people and it's all over the world. And I know mm -hmm. that this is a great thing that the doctor is doing. So I'm excited and I'm anxious to see when everything is going to get, get started. <laughs> right. But I was just curious, Doctor. Uh, besides uh, the fertilizer, what are the other benefits of worm farming? What What are other ways that you can earn an income, or is it helpful to the environment? Yeah, actually, besides the chemical fertilizers, there are uh, much more benefits of this using this balmy compost from the point of view of environment. Actually, we are using almost everything, uh, you know, organic waste we are using in this. So uh, there are much more benefit of uh, using this compost. This improves soil texture, this improves soil porosity, this improves, you know, uh, soil uh, texture uh, crop and uh, crop production is very good as uh, in quantity and in quality also and beside this uh, you know uh, uh, you know this uh, food waste paper waste and other organic waste which go into landfill sites we can uh, you know we can uh, avoid this uh, organic waste from uh, going into a landfill site and we can uh, use in in making vermi compost actually so this is the very uh, you know very important point of view i am using vermi compost so uh, if you're at home and you don't quite yet have the land or the space what are uh what are a, a easy way to start do you just uh what's the best soil to start with you know uh i would suggest anybody to you uh, you can use uh, you can do vermi composting with a small space also uh just on the surface of land, if you have a you know a five into ten feet space you have, you can make vermi bags over there. 
and you can start it with very less amount of you know uh, money it, it uh, i think it's a negligible amount of money with negligible amount of money you can start you can st you have to only uh, you have to uh, you know semi decompose your kitchen waste your agriculture waste you have prepare open beds in the uh, on the surface of ground or on the land and then you have introduced earthworms so i think uh, in a very low scale or very uh, small scale small space you can start it okay that's inspiring to know i was also wanting to know uh, some of your videos or will you will you uh, post sub videos in english I know I was following, I still follow you. I subscribe to your channel, but I was wondering if you would please post something in English so we can kind of follow you. We love you and you don't even know it. <laughs> Sure, sure, Trish. We are going to uh, provide our videos in English also. Uh, as uh, you are following me and people like you are also uh, love to hear, hear us, love to listen from us more. And they uh, continuously keep messaging us uh, regarding the videos in English. So we are working on it. And very soon you are uh, going to, uh, you know, we, uh, our videos in English, you are receiving, uh, we are, uh, you know, we are making our videos now in English and uh, soon they will available on you. YouTube and we will share to you also. Okay, so I know we're going to get some courses in the future. Hopefully, maybe the top of 2022, let's just say. Uh, but what about ordering your uh, fertilizer? Is that available for us in the US or no? Yeah, we are continuously, uh, you know, working on it uh, uh, in the starting uh, uh, since, you know, 20 years back. Uh, nobody uh, or a very, a very few people uh, knows about what is vermicomposting, what is rearing of earthworms. But yeah. now, you know, after COVID, we are getting uh, much more better responses from our customers, our people, and, you know, our followers that we want to start vermicomposting in India and as well as abroad. Uh, some from Western countries are also following regularly and they uh, used to uh, you know keep in touch with us that how can we uh, have your vermicompost here so we are uh, regularly working on it and i think uh, hopefully uh, very soon we are also providing you it in abroad awesome so for for some of us who just have a little bit information about it will you define the word verba composting like tell us exactly what that is How would what you what composting exactly? Yeah, how would you define vermicomposting for for uh, some of us who's not that familiar with it? Okay, okay. So uh, vermicomposting is exactly made up of two words. One is vermi, and other one is composting. So vermi identify uh, you know vermi stand for the worm and in this case we are using earthworm and the earthworm to uh, you know to be a vermi cast actually vermi compost is nothing that is cast of earthworm when are uh, actually earthworm usually feed on the decaying or the dead organic matter when it feeds on dead and dead organic matter then the excreta or the you know the waste uh, it produced that is called vermi cast and that vermi cast is uh, very fertile very uh, you know very useful for our soil and so you, we use that worm cast in our uh, field and that's why uh, as a compost we are using that vermi cast so in commonly we call that vermi compost so actually vermi compost is nothing that is cast of earth worm. So is it is it the poop of the worm? Yeah, you can say it's the poop of the worm. Exactly. So vermicomposting is the poop of the worm that yeah. is beneficial in gardening. It can be used as a fertilizer. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So I have red worm. Does it matter? Like I know you use earthworms, and I started with red worms. Does it matter? Which one? Yeah, red worm is, uh, actually, uh, I will tell you that uh, I have three varieties of earthworms here in my farm. Uh, red worm, that is uh, Icenia fetida. One is uh, Eutrilus eugene, that is commonly called uh, African night crawler, and other one is 
Johnny's excavators, that is Indian blue worm. So red worm is uh, very good in vermi composting, and uh, it is the best. Only drawback is it uh, it feel you know uh, during the high summers or when the temperature is very high here. They, uh, they, uh, you know, the vermi composting from the uh, red worm is affected a bit. Otherwise, it is very good in vermi composting. Its metabolic rate is very good. Its multiplication rate is very good, and uh, it, uh, it can be. Uh, it is the best decomposer. We can say it is the best vermi composting we got from uh, red worm. It's very best. It's it's good can, uh, species. Can red worms and earthworms coexist in the same bed? Uh, Pajan, will you repeat? I was asking, can red worms and earthworms coexist in the same uh, bed? Uh, actually, I, I, I didn't got your point, actually. I was just asking, can you grow a raised earthworms and red worms together? Yeah, yeah, we can grow. Uh, I I am using uh, you know three species together in same vermi composting pit. <clears throat> That's great. Yeah, we can yeah we can grow red worm with other worms, and the vermi composting uh, you know did not affect that. Not effect. Uh, it's uh, there is no effect on vermi composting process. Actually, we can grow it with other worms also. I'm doing it. Practically, okay. I'm doing it. Yeah. So let me ask you this, is there, okay, so what we uh, understand is that you uh, raise worms so that you can uh, recycle the soil, basically. Do you uh, use the worms for anything else besides the soil? Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, we have many, uh, we have two or three main use of uh, earthworms. The one I'm using that I'm doing vermi composting from earthworms only, but other people can use it for as a fish feed. You okay. know, uh, other people can use earthworms as a fish feed. Some can you uh, some use the, these earthworm uh, in 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 some parts of you know what uh, many people use it in medicine also. So, oh wow! Uh, there are yeah there are uh, some uses other uses of earthworms, but I'm only doing vermi composting from it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I want to thank you so much for taking time and sharing your, your warm experience with us. I'm super excited about your upcoming classes and your courses. And also, as soon as you start making your uh, fertilizer available for us in the U.S., please let me know and keep us posted. So basically what we learned today, vermicomposting is basically the poop of worms and can be sold as fertilizer. We can also use it to uh, as fish bait. And you said in certain yeah. parts of the world, it can be used as medicine as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, so it can be used in medicines also. Thank you so much, doctor. Do you have any last words? <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, I, I want or I have a request to people that don't throw your garbage uh, and don't throw your garbage, uh, especially organic waste outside and, uh, you know, uh, just use it uh, in a small scale or in a large scale, use it, recycle it and uh, make compost from it. So this way we can have a green and clean earth. And which uh, that is, you know, a, a best alternative of chemical fertilizer, which is good for health, which is good for soil, and which is good for our environment also. Thank you so much. And that's the most important part of all of this is to help our Mother Earth stay healthy. <laughs> yeah, thank, Trish. thank you, Trish. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, inviting me on your platform and sharing some important uh, and, you know, uh, inviting me to your platform and, uh, you know, listening and uh, hearing my views on Valmi composting. It's my pleasure to share with you my views. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. What is it that you would like to say to uh, your country, India? Yeah, uh, thank you, Trish. Uh, Trish, I just want to say that uh, I'm doing it in a small state of India, Uttarakhand, and the place is known as Kodwar. 
So since 2002, I'm I'm doing vermi composting, vermi wash, dealing with earthworms, you know, different types of organic waste I am managing with the help of vermi composting. It's 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 a very good practice actually. It helps in you know uh, making soil fertile. It helps in cleaning our environment. It helps uh, you know to make clean, green, and to save our mar, mother earth uh, with the you know uh, effect of chemical fertilizers. It's a very good practice, and I we uh, with my uh, with my experience of twenty years in this field. I just want to share my experience with the country peoples. And for this now, we have started, you know, uh, opening new vermi composting units in all parts of the, in every part of our, every state of our country. And for that, you know, we are collaborating with people who wish to uh, do vermi composting. We are uh, sharing our experience with them uh, so that, you know, so that uh, every person in every corner of our country uh, should get, you know, healthy vermi compost and should go for organic farming so that he will be healthy, uh, you know, he will uh, have healthy life also. So uh, I just want to say that we are going to collaborate, we are going to guide people. So anybody who wants to do, who wants, who is interested in this field can uh, contact us um, through uh, this, uh, through my mail or my contact number. And we are here to help those uh, people. Uh, this I want to say, not only in India, but we have started our consulting, you know, consultancy also in abroad through your video calls, through, uh, you know, uh, online calls or uh, video calls, calls on WhatsApp. We are providing consultancy to people in US, people in UK and and, and every part of the, uh, you know, world who wish to do this work in composting. So we are a person who wish to do this composting this i wanted to say okay is it all year round or is it seasonal no a vermi composting is a throughout the year process it just affected uh, during summers a bit affected during summer but we can't say that uh, vermi composting is a year round process okay so you can you... do any time you can start yeah okay so it's, it's all year round yeah Okay, that's great. So um, is there like, um, is it a volunteer situation or um, will you share with them how much it would be to learn the process? The process you want? To learn, to if they call yeah. you and they want to learn, do they get to, um, or do you take any volunteers? Or yeah, we have we have volunteers also, but I personally I couldn't uh, I you know uh, I personally interested and I involved personally with any vermi composting unit we uh, we uh, you know we start here anybody wants to do volunteers are there it's okay but it's my personal uh, experience it's my personal interest to involve fully in that uh, you know if anybody wants I am fully interested I am fully helpful to him or her to start his unit. Okay, so basically the goal is to empower them so they can start on their own. Yeah, they can store. And uh, you know, uh, I just want to tell you one more thing that we are producing vermi wash also. Okay. That is also of the, you know, you know that is the washings of earthworms. Basically earthworms have a silomic fluid on their skin, which help them to breathe. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's very beneficial, you know, it contains proteins, it contains beneficial microenzymes, those are, you know, those help in inhibiting the disease, those are disease resistant also, so that can be used as, you know, bioinsecticide, as biopesticide, uh, that can also be used as, a, uh, you know, biofertilizer or liquid fertilizer, we can say, that is a foliar spray basically. And that can be consumed much faster than vermi compost because it is in liquid form. Okay. So it, it's also a very good product of earthworm. Uh, you know, we are producing here uh, in our unit also. Okay. So, so it's a yeah. the the verma wash is a natural pesticide and it's also a fertilizer and it's almost better because you said it's in a liquid form. Yeah, yeah, it, it's natural insecticide and we can value it, we can add value to it 
you know, vermi wash by adding uh, some uh, insecticidal property, plants having insecticidal properties. We add as uh, culture media in vermi wash uh, during the process or during the production of vermi wash. So it uh, it can be uh, you know turn into insecticide. It can be used in uh, turn into for, uh, fungicide, herbal first uh, bio fungicide, bio insecticide, and bio uh, you know pesticide. We can use it. Okay. So the the uh, verma wash. Do you just pour it inside your garden? Do it just go straight in the ground or in the soil? No, it's it's a foliar spray. We spray it over the plant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's very good and it's it's it results very good. We have uh, it's very beneficial for plants also to inhibit or to resist uh, from diseases, different kind of diseases. It also helps to resist diseases. Do you know how often it's good to treat your soil with the vermicompost? Is this something you do once a month or every few months, every few weeks? No, vermicompost is a whole uh, whole year process. You know, we uh, we are doing it since 20 years regularly, without any pause, without any interruption. We are doing it continuously since last 20 years. I have started my vermi composting unit with just 50 tons of production in a year. And now we have 25,500 tons of production per year. Oh, wow. So, so we are, yeah. So we are growing day by day. And I just want to share my experience. I just want to help the poor farmers who don't have, uh, you know, that much of money to establish their own unit. So I am there to help the poor farmers of my country. So anybody if interested, I can help him. I wanted to ask you, doctor, is this a situation where you can go to their farm or do they have to come to you? Can you go uh, to you their know, farm in India? Yeah, you know, uh, it's a mutual uh, discussion between us. Whatever is feasible, we will do that. Uh, but I suggest people should at least once come to my farm okay. if they see that practically, practically how, how is it going on, how to establish a bed. That will be much more beneficial for them. And then after we will start there at their place. So it will be beneficial for them to first visit our farm uh, at least see it ex uh, practically what is going on in the beds, how to prepare beds, how to prepare the vermi wash unit, how to, you know, how to remove our forms from the finished compost, everything, everything we are, uh, we will teach them, we will taught them practically over here in my unit. And then after he or she make uh, establish their own unit and we will go there, we will help them to establish their own unit. I think that's great. And like you said, yeah. the most important thing is just save planet Earth and, and just kind of exercise worm farming just to because it's so beneficial and it, and yeah, it sure. helps. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate that information. Um, this will be, I think we reach about 30 countries and India is one of them. So we definitely yeah, want to sure. get the word out. I'm going to leave all your information below. And um, is it okay if we leave your uh, contact number, your WhatsApp number? Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. No problem. Okay. And do they talk yeah. to you directly? If, if, even, you know, even, you know, Trish, I want to tell, just tell you that uh, in any part of the world, in any country of the world, if anybody is interested in doing Verme Compost, we will, you know, we will provide them consulting uh, calls. We will provide consultancy. They can, you know, they can reach uh, to us by, you know, uh, WhatsApp or any on uh, Zoom or any video call, any method they can reach to us. We will, we will here to help, uh, you know, everyone. Okay. So basically we can all take a trip to India and visit your farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will also invite you to just visit our farm someday. <laughs> I would love to visit your farm one day. And, and yeah, sure. And stay in India. Um, so we just have to pray that our country don't shut down again. <laughs> sure. To, to okay. mess up the travel plans. <laughs> yeah, sure. You are most welcome. You are heartiest welcome here. Okay. So um, I just want to thank you.
for your contribution to Warren Farming. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to say that again. So I just want to thank you for your contribution to Warren Farming. And then the fact that you're a woman, and it's just like awesome. It's just like your power. <laughs> thank you, Trish, for you too, for providing me time, for providing me your platform to share my views to uh, you know everyone in my country and outside my country also. A very big thank you to you. You're welcome. Is there any last words you would like to say? You, uh, you know, I just want to say that for me, composting is really a very good practice. Everyone should do it. Even at, uh, you know, very small scale, you can recycle your kitchen waste. You can recycle your garden waste. Don't throw out your garbage. Uh, at least you don't throw out your organic waste outside. Just recycle it, you know, just make it a nutrient-rich compost. Use it in your garden. Use it in your flower pots. Use, use it in your vegetables. And, uh, you know, uh, help uh, your health to make your country clean and green and your environment is pollution free. So this I just want to tell everybody. All right. Thank you so much.